Before I start doing all what I call it, fitting all vanity unit and all stuff that goes with it in shower screen, I'm gonna fit this second hand Velux there. It's not gonna match up with downstairs because the downstairs, that's not middle of this room obviously. And the downstairs one is gonna be slightly off. It's probably gonna be on that that joist. Well, not them ones, because obviously it starts down here. Um, so there's a sloppy room for that here from a kitchen that goes out that way a little bit more about another six foot or something. Like. Um, and I'm gonna I've got two bar two on them, so I'm gonna put one in the kitchen and I'm gonna put one there. So that's what we're doing today. Before I go about putting all vanity on it in sinks, risk dropping a tile, smashing stuff, um, shower screen, in fact it works lovely that. It's mint, it's mega. Uh, I'm happy with that, well impressed. And floor, it all it, it all flows pretty good. That's what that line is, I don't know if you probably understand it a bit better than what I do. Let me just get kind of a look on. Oh, that giant, that giant's not very clever, but I'm not very close to be fair. I think I've done alright, same with Tyler or whatever. That goes that way, so that, that side is sloping that way and that way slightly. This bit here is sloping that way and that back piece is sloping in, so it's all going to go down that drain. Well, it all does go down that drain, pretty good. We sealed all this up. We still had a water leak in the kitchen yesterday, but it weren't my fault and it weren't my tiling fault. It's all plumbing to be fair. It's come from, well it is a bit of a plumbing fault. I siliconed all that across there to about there because that gap under there was getting a little bit too big for just silicon on its own. So I filled it with tile adhesive and I'm going to run another bead of silicon over it today. Well maybe another day, I don't know. Um, what well, that, well, that actually happened was, when I've glued all my pipe work underneath for that to get outside, I've put enough, well I thought I'd left enough pipe on outside the house. Mm -hmm. I thought, I thought I'd left some pipe sticking out of the house enough that way and I put a 90 on it and I've just put a temporary pipe going into the kitchen sink with sink um, drainer with drainage so that shower's operational it just comes that way but I ain't glued that last corner so what it's been doing it's been coming water's been coming down hitting it and just weeping on joint hitting brick and we being brick on brick and not cavity it's Weep back into the house and then gone down because I had water running ages yesterday because I was doing all grouting, pushing all grout off and just using that to swill it all off. So that's what, what happened and it was just running back into the house and it's gone down kitchen wall and on plug sockets and stuff. So I had a bit of an issue last night but I got it sorted anyway. Right, I'm going to get on with that now. I'm going to put that second hand Valax in there. I'm not a giant, I'm not a giant and I'm not a roofer, so I don't know how this is going to go and I've never fitted one of these before. Well, to be fair, I've only done tiling probably once or twice before in my life anyway, so it's not... Oh. I don't know. It ain't all bad for me anyway, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with finish. But money I've saved anyway. Right, I'm going to get on with that.
think I've dropped a bollock. I think I've fitted it upside down. That was good. Surely not. Surely not. I've done something wrong. I've got to have done something wrong. Oh, you're kidding me, I thought chucking handle had got to bottom. So the handle's gonna be up there. You shitting me. Right, we're up in my loft at the minute and I'm looking for a feed for this wiring. Um, <coughs> I've put that in. I'm gonna watch where I'm standing now. Oh jeez. I can see it there, I don't know where it joins still. <laughs> That's my unaccessible roof that I need to get to. I need to run a Run the power down there, but I think that's it. Yeah, so <coughs> yeah, that's my feed. That's my feed wire there. That must have burned his bedroom, I'm sure, on it. Oh. 
and I'm sure I left enough wire on this when I did it. Somewhere along here, there should be a date stamp on this. If this has got a date stamp of 2019, there we go, 2019, that's my feed for up here. <coughs> so that's my upstairs ring, it's nested up here. Yeah look, I've got that other feed, I don't know if you can see that on camera, but that why it's my aerial lead, I've put that in. Um, I've had all this put in. We've got a grant for this, so that were a decent little bonus. Um, I'm going to have to see about that. Just up here. <coughs> Throw that. Shit, I missed. Throw that over there. I'd like to connect into it back at what they call it. Where's the end of this chuffing wire? Yeah. It's 1.5 mil foot lighting. That's me. 5, that's me 1.5 to... Mm, why do I have that two feeds? Oh, one over to the back bedroom, one over to the little back bedroom. So... I think... I need to take my off. Snip into this. <coughs> joint it. I should put a chop block on it, but I think what I'll do is I'll just put a... Put some insulation around it, put it in a chop block and... Uh, screw up a chop block to this timber here. Throw my wire down there, that'll get me feed for my LEDs and then I need to somehow get it set up. Right, if I don't get back to you, I've already done this bit. I've already teed into my electric here. That's if I don't get back to you, but I'll see what happens. Right. Yeah, right, I know that's my feed. I don't know if you can see me. Where's that end of that wire gone? <coughs> right, that's the end of my wire where I'm going to throw down into the bathroom. This is going to be me. My chalk. I'm going to screw it in. There's enough there. Dusty up here. So I'll turn right switch off her. for me stairs. <coughs> oh shit. I have to button that back up again. I'm not sure what that is. I don't even picture where I am here. Oh the top of the stairs. Mm. What's that feed I've just cut into? That's got to be me. <coughs> That's got to be my feed, it's got to be. Got to be. Goes over to the other bedroom. So I work cutting that one. What's <laughs> yeah, can happen? I'll use another chop block up. Um, got to have some power in that, surely. This one. Oh, it's my end. So I know there's another one over there. That's feed from one of back bedrooms, but <coughs> he's moving out Christmas stuff to get to it. So I think I'm just gonna tee into this one, it's an easier option. Right, that's my feed. Feed, feed, feed. 
feed. Chop one. Right, tech two. Let's see what happens here. I didn't get no sparks. Only thing is now, <laughs> bathroom light will only come on if landing light's on. Because <laughs> my wiring skills are going to be a little bit uh, iffy. Yeah, I'm not that bad to be fair. I've, uh, I am actually trained to do this. I'm a qualified engineer. Level 2. MV, MVQ level 2. I'm just trying shit. I did do a night course though doing electrician work when I was 20 I think I was 20 what? I think I was 21 year old <coughs> I'm 50 odd now like so I was 21 year old and I did a night course in electrical engineering because I actually wanted to ch change trades back then I wanted to be a sparky chasing money And then I realised I'm not brainy enough for that. I'm gonna do, gonna do something that's uh, a little bit less brainy and more physical. Gotta try and make this safe. Uh, Cause it's gonna be getting dark soon. I'm gonna need lights switching on. Oh, shit. So anyway, I'm gonna have to do something while we're gonna run out of daylight. And it's gonna be no electric. So as long as I make it long enough. Well, yeah. I'm gonna have it so. I you can see this. I'm gonna have it so that this little sensor, I can't find a black one. I wanted a black surround. Uh, worst case scenario, I'll paint it in with a bit of nail varnish or something, but I'm, I'll get around to doing that at some bit. Probably not today or whenever, but what we're gonna do is there's line in. So that's your feed. Live and neutral into these boxes here. What do we do with them squares? I think you press them to get them out. But anyway, you just shove your live, live and neutral in there, and then I'm going to, on my, on my way out, when that trigs on, um, set timer on to maximum it'll go, set brightness so it comes on, on brightness a little bit, uh, and then we're going to have it so that this trigs fan, I bought a fan with a light in it, an LED. So I'm probably going to put that there, so that fan kicks in, I'm going to extract ducting onto that top half of wall up there, and I'm just going to knock a brick out, and then we're going to go outside with water, with, so water, with condensation from shower, and maybe bath, I don't know, it'll probably do it, but there's, there's a velox there and there's that, so anyway, that's going, to, <coughs> that's going to be my trigger, that's going to be my trigger. Oh, we're going to put it on a switch, a manual override switch, but again, they look shit, they look absolutely dog shit, them pole switches, so I've done away with that. We're going for this, we're having one of these anyway. So we're going to put sensor somewhere over there and yet do it. So as soon as you come in, it should trigger you and pick you up. Turn it lights on. The only drawback is, I ain't got a way of feeding. I wanted LEDs to come on. I might have to work that through Amazon somehow. But I ain't got a way of working Amazon. Uh, LED for under toilet, under vanity, and probably mirror. I want all that lot to come on as one. Or stay on. Oh, I'll just have the switch on this. Ah, I'll worry about that. I'll sort that. Um, that there then. Set the fan up somehow, up there. Duct in, up there. Then all I'm going to do is knock a brick out and grab duct in. Right, let's crack on. Oh, 
surely that facade comes off of there. Oh, just like that. Right, so what we're going to do with this is, same again, I'm going to have that painted. I'm going to go for a black one of those. Fan. Oh, it's got a little, uh, well, I bet that's irritating. That, that's brilliant. That's brilliant, good enough. Oh, they do actually send it with another side, a white one. I can send one off for painting. Um, right. It looks like there's a spring missing. Because that's not going to shut when wind blows. There's a spring missing from it. Yeah. Not a cheap thing neither, I think it was 90 quid that. Or 80. Don't come with enough duct in there. So that's the duct in that that's going to from there to there. Tires for that. <coughs> and that's for front to house. What back at house? That looks shocking. That's. I like this idea. You wire your uh, you shite in here, live, neutral earth, and then you feed in, you feed out, it doesn't matter which way around you get it, I don't think. It doesn't send out anyway. But all you do is you get all these wiring in, all these wirings in, get all your wiring done, put your board up, and then all you've got to do is clicks in. And your lamps on ending it. Perfect. What's up with that? That's that's a great idea. Why don't they why don't they make them all like that? Just like that. Easy. Easy. But if you buy it wrong bulb, don't matter with this. You've got a little switch. Oh it's gone off, I can't see what I'm looking at. It's got a little switch here. Warm light, cool light, whatever light. And you just flick it about. So that shower light. Is a different light to these. So whatever colour that shower light is, I can just flick this switch until these match. And then bathroom will all be the same. Brilliant. And the dimmable as well. I'll never dim them, but in case you want to. Oh like them. I think they're good. Pretty easy to wire as well. You just stick them in. Yeah, these are on ratchets and all, this this clip here, so you clip it in, get your wires where you want them, them little plastic jaws, squeeze that up, tight, brilliant, good design. Great, right, I'm going to go flick electric on now, and hopefully, no, it will go bang. I've got, well, I could plug a lamp in I suppose, see what I look like. Pull another oh yeah, it's it's an extra quid, quid fifty for black art outline. I don't know where the other one's gone. Yeah, they come they come white, but it's an extra quid for. It's not worth sending them one for painting. To be fair. Come on, I'll get a sun tan in here. Too bright. Quite a few lamps there, I might have put too many in. Oof, they are bright. I, I wanted them so that they were at an angle. I wanted them so I could angle them down to vanity, but uh, I had to wait for them, so. Wait, oh, oh. That's more of a yellow light, that, isn't it? That one. Whatever that is. Oh, that's worked out all right. Impressed. Maybe get some boards up now. Right, I've just sneaked past that uh, sensor. <clears throat> I don't know why we're being quiet because we don't get you on sound. It gets you on, <laughs> gets you on microwave. I don't know some some sort of frequency. Anyway, um, I've managed to get it going. It needed a switch live. I didn't realise. I'm just going to have a look now. 
That's it, it's picked me out. Oh, well, it picked my phone up or like that. So that's me. That's my lights. That's fan on anyway, that fan stops on after light. And it's. Oh, it's got some. I don't know if you can hear it, but yeah, it's, it's not mega good. It's not. It's not going to shift a lot of dust, but it'll do a lot of what I call it. A lot of steam, I suppose. Condensation. Paneling that I've got on. This is where I'm at it so far. I want to run a beta silicon around there, and obviously, I want to run one down this giant here as well. But I've got my lights in. Looks like it's large, yeah, but let's just come. That's that fan one. Um, I can't turn them off because it's on that PIR. I need to paint that. Um, that needs to go black. Um, that, that surround needs to go black. Uh, black. <coughs> and I've got to do some up with this. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I, I was thinking, seeing if I could get some sort of trim with a bit of LED in it and, and just like, because I can easily cut that, that can easily be cut with, with Stanley Blade. And then I just, just probably have some LED that's come down, that comes down this bit here, I don't know. We'll see how that looks, how that, that pans out. But I've got, I've got, oh, is it? I've got this stuff, oh, the camera's gone off. I've got this stuff to, Trim that off, that's not a problem. I'm just waiting for Alice to get back so I can go and get some standard blades. Because the blades I've got are run out, they're blunt, so I need to I need to put that on there. Get that on there, put silicon bead on there, and then that's roof done. I need to figure a way out to, to shut that up there and then I'm gonna do that, but I'll worry about that another day. And then um today's job is Silicon top edge, silicon round there, round that, silicon down there, round window frame, that edge there, and then we're going to silicon finish it off because it's actually silicon to about here. I just did that so we could get my uh, shower working. So once silicon is done, I might even um, 
put radiator in, I don't know, we'll see, we'll figure it out. But yeah, that's where we're at at minute, so I think that'll conclude this video.